My name is Eva and I'm 20 and I go to Victoria University in Wellington. It's about a five minute walk to the train station. I do a lot of driving as part of a job. I consider myself pretty safe. I just didn't see her. Could have been much worse. Well, I was um, the second unit at the crash scene that I was tasked with identifying a driver, making sure Emma was being seen to. I wake up 20 minutes later in an ambulance. Um, didn't know where I was. I was in quite a lot of pain, but I was a wee bit sort of delusional. <laughs> didn't really know what was going on. The driver was charged with careless driving, causing injury to Emma. He appeared in court, was fined and disqualified for a period of six months. But it cost me a lot more than that in the long run. The last thing I remember was just walking across the crossing, had to make the train on time, rushing to get there. I was only going 40. A bit faster and I could have killed her, I suppose. Imagine living with that. Emma was very lucky. Calculations show that he was travelling between 37 and 39 kilometres an hour and a 50 kilometre area. Our slogan, the faster you go, the bigger the mess, um, certainly rings true on this occasion. I was on crutches for about eight weeks. Still not 100% healed yet, but nearly. Even though the driver was at fault, if I would have looked both ways, I could have saved myself a lot of pain. I take it a lot easier these days. When there's people about, I just slow down. 